We ready to rock, Wilbur? We're ready to go. Ready to rock and roll? I'm ready to cock and bowl. Cock my arm back, bowl. It's a cricket term. I'm aware of that. It's I've a, made it up. It's one not of the greats from Ricky Ponting. <laughs> <laughs> you a cricket fan, Lee? Sometimes. Sometimes, Jack. You know, I thought you were a huge cricket fan because in this studio, most of the jokes you tell get crickets. <laughs> I love how Jarch just looks to Willie for reassurance. I do. On the jokes. Willie. Looks to Willie. Oh. <laughs> you've, you're sweating. So I've been sweating already. Yeah, well, well, actually, it's not that warm in here, so you're, you're a bit nervous. Feeling a bit nervous for the potty. I get really nervous around really ugly chicks. <laughs> you know, you, people usually say that around really pretty chicks. I get, so I've, I've switched it on. It's mm-hmm. like it's opposite day around real, real argos. I get nervous. Oh. It looks like Oops. someone set your face on fire and put it out with a screwdriver. Looking at Willie here for some. In other words, obviously, I'm just, you look um, tremendous today. You've got a lovely little black number on, black and white number. Thank you. You've decided in recent times to blend with the couch with all white well, ensembles. I've gone, you've gone the opposite. You've gone black and white. You've gone the Nanish tart. I've gone complete opposite. Little black num. But? And <laughs> I'm not blending into the couches. No, you're not. No. You're not blouches. I'm not blending into I the couches. Which I respect. Now, did you get some Easter eggs from the Easter Bunny? <laughs> you be a clever aren't you? <laughs> I. <coughs> oh, fuck You've it. got to stop coughing like that. I, I, I honestly believe that you're dying. Terminally ill. Potentially. But let's lift. <clears throat> so I actually had a tremendous Easter. Shout out to Jesus for dying. Um. And obviously being resurrected. Or was this his birth? Which one's which? No, he this died. Is this is he died and he, he's raised. Jesus this is died red. and went and had his three days off. Yeah, this is zomb- zombie Jesus. Yes. So had a very wholesome Easter. <clears throat> well, yeah, no, wholesome in the sense that went back, uh, obviously, to Wildcar, water skiing and shit on Friday, catching up with old mates. Shout out to the old crew. We've been doing this since I was like fucking eight years old, so it's a tradition. Staying in your swag. Did. Slept in. And, and can I just, as I said in the car, I'm like, it's probably the best sleep I've had. Which is wild. That's why I said to you, maybe you should just start sleeping outside. You did uh, You did say that maybe I shouldn't sleep indoors anymore. Yeah. Like, you've got a nice grassy area outside the front of your house. Why don't you just park up there with a the swag? It's nice and safe up That's there. That's someone else's property. Yeah. No, not yep. the front part. Yeah, it is, bud. I don't reckon anyone in Vol Clues would mind if you just popped up a swag, had a little snooze. You don't think? No. Nope. I think it's those sort of suburbs where someone really minds. But you could knock then your neighbours. You could knock on the door and say, hey, I tend to sleep better outside. You cool with a swag popping up each night from 11pm till 7. And then they'd be part of some fucking HOA. Where it's like, well, actually, legally, you're not actually allowed to um, have any sort of a structure for sleeping on the sidewalk or on grass from 6pm to 6am. What about the, the, the back of your house where you've got the Weber? What about a little swag out there, a little snooze? Good swag out there. I could, sw- I could swag. Give yeah. it a go because you're often, you're often having insomnia. So it might work. Well... I've been getting better. Well, the swag helped. Swelped. You had a, it swelped. You had a great sleep at the farm. Well, I had a ripper, ripper sleep. Keep in mind, though, Louisa, I need to add this in. I had a, I had a healthy blanket of whiskey over me as well. Well, then that'll pop you straight to sleep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Daddy went to, to snore town, if you know what I mean. Were you having double whiskeys? I was having what you'd call free pour whiskey, free pour rum. It, it, it's, it, it is wild how much whiskey you can drink. Like you'd have a bottle some nights, right? Yep. And you're like kind of sweet off uh, there. Yeah, I had a bottle Saturday. It's pretty terrifying. Well, I... I'd say most people would 
be what like six to seven drinks and that's them done for the evening. You're but having a you're having a bottle of spirits. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I'm not mad. I'm impressed. Thank you. Baxter, you eat a whole wheel of cheese? I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. Same thing, but with the whiskey. Anchorman. Quote. Yeah, I know. You you, you have said that probably uh, 450 million times. Uh, oh, yes. So, But I enjoyed myself Friday, catching up, laughing around a fire. Mm. Whereas in bed probably by 12.30. Oh, Woke up at nine. Oh. What a sleep. It's stunning. Straight into the water, straight into the dam, cold, like an ice bath kind of. Gorgeous. Then I had a lunch out at, shout out to Toby Locke and the crew. Mm, love with Toby. With my mate Jimmy Georgie, fucking Tobes and Abs hosted at his farm, Yarrow, and fucking um, Corco Tazi. Just a good Great mob. Great day. Really good. You know, just like a good little mob of people. Good crew. And it was light up time. Mm. So I did drink a bottle of whiskey that day. Um... And then some just quietly, because it was a full day thing. Fucking playing croquet and shit. We did an Easter egg hunt for the kids. I love croquet. I also love Easter egg hunts. I would have got involved. You really would have loved it. Weather was gorgeous. Just had a fucking good Easter. Love that. So how was yours? Great. Went up to Palm Beach. Went to Burt's. How many times? A couple times. So more than a couple or just just a couple? Just a couple times to Burt's. So just a couple plus one. Just a few times. How many, Lou? Three. <coughs> three, three times. And then we so did... So you went back to the same restaurant. It's, it's a great restaurant. It is a great restaurant. It's a phenomenal restaurant. We walked to the top of the um, the lighthouse. Yep. Wandered around there. Went Who proposed that? The lighthouse. Mm. Me. Okay. TDD loves a walk. Yeah. No, he loves a walk. Right. We went up there and then we wandered around the rocks and everything. And then we came back, had... Lunch on the Saturday and then we Where'd thought... Where lunch Saturday? Burt's. Burt's. And then we thought on Sunday, well, oh, fuck it, let's go back for lunch and dinner. At Burt's? Yeah. Did you stay up in Palm Beach? Yes, we did. You did? So we it wasn't like you were going back and forth? No, no, no. We had an Airbnb up there. Oh, look, if it, it ain't break, great. don't fix it, though. It's oh, fucking... It I'm, a cre- I'm a habitual creature, too. Delicious. And then the weather was great, lots of swimming. But I haven't told you about the day before Easter. I actually haven't told you something before that. Well, who's so, going first? Well, I'm going to go because we briefly just discussed it very quickly and then you can go the day before. I, don't, I just don't want to get off the topic of TDD. <sighs> Some saucy stuff on that Instagram, isn't there? Bare chest, forearms out. Kid looks good. Kid's in Nick. He's in very way. good. Nick. Kid's in Nick. Thick forearms. But bre- the breadth and width of his chest is just to die for. Mm. I mean, you must be in heaven. Well, Jack, <laughs> he's not a piece of meat. Uh, he's a big, he's a big chunk of meat, isn't he? And is what was the response like on that post? It was actually slightly terrifying. Run me through that. Girls DMing me, being like, "More of this, Lulu. Mummy likes." Yeah. I'm like, I don't know no. if there'll be any more of yeah. this. No more four arms. We'll give you some four skin. I told you that was all me. Yeah, Willie oh, that said was, it was Willie. Willie's burner account on bot bot accounts. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. I don't blame you. Um, what'd you do the day before? I had my first golf lesson. You did. And he said, he said I thought this was going to be worse. He said, said you're a natural. I, I do agree. You're actually not bad. Yeah. I actually think you do have something about you with golf. Well, it's therapeutic as well because it's very slow. Can I tell? And I like that. Yes, because it that it matches the speed of your brain. So well, I would disagree with that. I would say like, my brain goes 44 million times an hour and I'm a baby genius. People think the things that yeah, come out you, of my mouth you, are stupid. No, no, no. It's like you'd never think it because you're not that far ahead. Advanced. Yeah, right. I would call you a baby genius in the sense that you would be a genius, say, if you were a baby because you'd be able to well, speak. Uh, you know, you'd, be able, to, you'd be able to do basic maths. In the terms of that, no, I think you never know what you're going to get. I think mentally you're the equivalent of a baby genius. I agree. Well, Couldn't agree more. Can I show you my swing? Yeah, you can. So it's, 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 you obviously don't keep your head down. You'd be used to that. Okay, doesn't this arm need to be straighter? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like that. Right. Yes, that's pretty good, dude. See, I, mate, I was just saying this yes, yesterday. Had my mate Geordie's birthday. Oh, what's the day? Yeah, Tuesday. Yesterday, Monday. Had his birthday. We went to his uh, house for a bit of... So, shout out to Geordie and Mads. Thank you for having us. 
And they had, in his house, he had one of those putting fucking things where you putt, it goes up and you get points and whatever, you know, mm-hmm. and it comes back down. And I was just putting and I'm like, fuck me, I play golf probably two, two, twice a year. I love golf. We got a bit of extra time. Get into it with me. That, but this is what I'm saying, Lulu. Let's go play around. Let's just play around a golf. I'm going to get a week. No, 100%. I'm getting lessons once a week. I probably get eight, I reckon. Really? And then we, you and I will go ha- have nine holes. <laughs> Who's this bloke? Uh, Aussie Beef Golf is his Instagram. I beg your pardon? At Aussie Beef Golf. Right. So, so is he. Hang on. Let's double check that. Anything to do with livestock? Is he a. <laughs> Let's what? check I've got that right. Aussie Beef Golf. Yep. Aussie Beef Golf. Come and have a listen and get a free ribeye. Yep. And, yeah, so he said I was quite a natural. So you and I will be playing golf now. That'll be our thing. Okay. We'll be golfers. I really want to get into it. Ding, ding, ding. Who's that? The next Tiger? Oh. Well, Callaway, probably... Callaway Oz followed me the other day. Oh, hey. So, Kazza. Guys, oi, send Kaz- us. Kazaway. Send us a, a, some clubs. Well, maybe send. No, if, if, send if I could me. Selfishly, I'm the one getting. If me. I could selfishly. Well, <laughs> I'm the one getting the lessons, guys. I've had lessons. So this I'm, could be an interesting match play. Whoever wins gets a set of clubs. I like it. Hmm. Callaway, if you're keen to see me and Lou f- battle it out on the golf course, whoever wins gets the gets a set of clubs. We, look, we're happy to do something. Or like any that. golf brand doesn't. We don't have to. Do well, that. I'm just saying because Callaway followed me the other day, and yeah, I was okay. like, "That's fucking cool." Okay, we get it. You got to follow. So Callaway, the big <clears> dog, got to follow from I think the it was old Callaway golfers. Was the, yeah, the Callaway. Uh, so yeah, so you're good at golf. Now I've. Got something to say to you. Oh, shit. Now, a little bedwetter sent me a little video of Daddy. Oh, fuck. And, and uh, just to clarify, I'm not Daddy in this instance. Could you clarify who is? You're Daddy, by the way. I'm Daddy, I know. So, bedwetter sent this in to me saying, hey, mummy, might want to wanna take this up with Daddy. <laughs> so, could you just uh, explain to me what you are doing here? It's just a normal video and then wait for the end. <laughs> so Jachi has picked his nose, That's done a little it. dig, and I've then literally gone picked and flicked. <laughs> I'm not even he thinking. Fl- so you've got a little snot pile down here. <laughs> have a look. Go have a look and see if your snot's well, there. Well, that's why I'm always poking down here and yeah. snacking. So you're just picking and flicking. <laughs> oh, you geez, are picking Jesus. and flicking. Well... Can I ask you a question? Before we started, no. you had a big bit of snot I'm hanging out of your nose. Where is it now? Where'd you put it? Yeah, because I give you that tip. It's not in your thumb or in your nose where it was when I told you. You flick it? Kid flick her snot? Did I flick it without realising too? Stinks of a pick and flick, kid. So is this just a pick and flick area? This is a pick and flick area. All right. <laughs> that is some eagle-eyed fucking bedwetter shit. I when, didn't even realise I've done that. When he sent me that, I was in tears. Like you literally just go, not even thinking, no, just like I just drop it. <laughs> Wonder if I just do that at restaurants. It was almost like a, an attempt at misdirection as well because you go to the left and the flick goes to the right. Oh, so I'm you subtle with absolutely it. Absolutely, would do that. I reckon your car would be full of snot. Mm-mm. I'd flick it out the window. Disagree. I reckon you're flicking it anywhere out the back. I think you're eating it. Well. I think you were a snot eater as a kid. I was not a slot, slot, I was not a snot eater. I think you were. I was definitely not a snot eater. I reckon you've eaten snot before. Definitely at least once in my life. Mm-hmm. But I'm not, I'm not picking and eating. Mm. I think you would. I can give you that tip. I know you my would. My little brother was a pick and eater. I think we've discussed this. And it used to fucking... It still bemuses me today that it's such a normal thing for k- kids to do. Not just kids. Adults do it too. If you're an adult and you eat your own snot, can't, you are fucked in the head. For a little little salty treat. But, but, but how do you know it's salty, <laughs> you little pig and eater? Well, I remember at age eight. Uh-huh. I'm sure I was eating it at eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were eating anything at eight. Yeah. Weren't you? I was putting little snacks up there for later. You're a little snotty senorita, weren't you? Put little, little bit, bits of brownie up there ready for a little snack. You're a little snotterita, weren't you? I was a little you? snotterita. Aren't you a little snotterita? <laughs> <laughs> little snotterita? <laughs> well, good eagle-eyed stuff from the bedwetters there, but fuck. Okay, now, I've just, now I'm conscious. Well, no I'd picking keep, and flicking. I'd keep those hands to yourself <laughs> in more ways than With one. With Willie in the producer's chair, almost impossible. Keep your hands down to your... 
outside, please. Hey, with that big willy over there, practically implausible. Remember, I'm HR now. <laughs> I'm HR now. Hands to yourself. For God's <laughs> sakes, I'm so sorry, bedwetters. Got to deal with this pig on the daily. <laughs> now, Jack, would you like some more? <coughs> had a bedwetter send me in a lovely list of icks from her and her friends. All right, spin oh, them. actually, sorry. What day of the week is it? Well, I, it looks like there's a cow over there eating grass. What's he doing on this day? Chewing. It's a Tuesday. Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. Yeah, and so, my golly, <coughs> by jingle jongle jangles. Okay. I nearly forgot Trinket Tuesday. So you got Trinky Tuesdays. Well, I did have a special Trinket Tuesday for, me, for you, but we were running a bit late, so I've changed my Trinky Chews, and I'll save that Trinky Chews uh, till the next Trinky Chews. You didn't prep. <laughs> Back kid, me up, Willie. She doesn't prep. It's in the car. No, nah, she's she's it's done some good there. prep, but we ran out of time. Okay, ran out of time. Cool. Uh, can I just say LBD something preps. as well? Willie has given us some brilliant information, which makes tricky chews work, because yes. a lot of our senoritas, as super senoritas, are overseas senoritas. So the bed when you say if you're pissing the bed in the United States or in fucking Britain, this comes out Tuesday. So this is Trinky Tuesday. Yeah. So for the Aussie mob... Who are getting angry look, at us. Look, we can... Well, rightly so. Well, I disagree. You but can have a trinket on any day of the week. We just happen to do it on Tuesdays. It's because of the alliteration is mainly why we call it Trinket Tuesdays. It's mainly because of the alliteration. We're not going to call it Wink at Wednesdays. Well, I don't know. Uh, we've got... We, so, yeah. So Wednesdays are... Uh, they're subscribed to something else. I don't mind it. Oh. What would you think Wednesdays are? Oh, I don't know. The guess. Nah. Wanking Wednesdays. Yep, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> that's exactly where my brain went. So that's perfect. Guys, it's very exciting. Patreon is coming. The Super Soak and Senior Eaters is what you'll be called. It's extended episodes. So you got your standard two a week, and you'll get the extended episodes if you sign up to Patreon. How much is it, Jarchi? Well, it's $2.50 a week, Lulu, to that's, be a Super Soak and Senior Eater. That's nothing. So $2.50 a week uh, as a Super Soak and Senior Eater, you get the extended apps, you get bonus content, you get a discount on merch, and early access to live shows. Um, you're also going to get... Well, one lucky super soaking senorita, depends on how you define luck, will get a video from uh, Lou and I every week. Yep. Uh, and we're just excited about it, mate. Bit of extra content means we get to be in the studio a little bit longer. Yep. You get to enjoy a little bit more content if you want it. If not, nothing else changes. You can still you enjoy everything lips. as per normal. But, but for $2.50 a week. on that extra Connie. Yeah, mummy just shortened the word content to Connie, but didn't shorten it because it's still two syllables. Patreon coming soon. Rock and roll sis sisters. Meow. Or Super Soak and Senorita, sorry. Meow, meow. All right, Trinky Kid, Trinky let's see what Tuesday. you got. Well, do your Trinky Tuesday's jingle. It's Trinky time for Trinky t -t -t Tuesday. Right, making fun of people with stutters. Great. Jesus Christ, Louisa. Well, I this mean, Trinket it Tuesday just never ends. is a quiz. For you. Oh, oh, cool. And it's, how well do you know your own podcast? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Okay, so. Oh, not very well. What is the birthday of your co-host, Louisa Clear Delden? Oh, fuck, Lou. Why would you, it's the 20th of November. Well done. 1993. He's done well. He's got his first one. I am shit myself now. Okay, now, what date and year... Did our first episode air of We Mean Well? Mm. June 2022. And the date? Is that right, June? Okay, 18th. 6th of July 2022. Okay, not so bad. not far off. Could be worse. Could be better. Okay. Now, in the story that I told about someone flinging shit around, what had they shat into? Sock. A plastic bag. But because yeah, I said sock initially because technically you could use plastic bags as a sock. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Um, who was our very first guest episode? Oh. Three... No, 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 don't kill me down. Two. Brockman. One. Brockman. The Alpha Blows. Oh, Alpha. 
You absolutely They were our idiot. first guests, of course. And last Fuck, one. Fuck, sorry, boys. That's fucking ridiculous. What was the name of our very first podcast? Cunt. Close. That was episode two. No. <laughs> it was bad day to be a Twinkie. Oh, because mama used to just throw them. Well, I actually never had a Twinkie. Well, you just said that was what probably my yeah. favourite moment of the podcast when you <laughs> broccoli. go, you go, hey, kid, broccoli, <laughs> you're broccoli. safe. Twinkie, you're fucked. And then that also came back to haunt <laughs> me because they were like, yeah, when you did the whole broccoli thing, you said broccoli, not broccoli. Yes. Came back I to haunt me. I think someone's a narcissistic liar. I beg your pardon. And that was the next question. Who's a narcissistic liar? Both Jack of us. Jack Kid Put <laughs> What did you think? No, that was think really good. Trinket Tuesday can be anything. It can be a game. It can be a trinket. It can be a person. It right. can be anything. Right. Well, good to know because that wasn't a trinket. That well, was a quiz. Well, that's the whole point. You'd be a trinket for your mind. A, oh, try Exactly. It was a try. I like, I like it. Yeah. No, that was actually really good, though. Thanks, thanks. Now guys. I want to do that for you. Well, you can do that next Trinket Tuesday. But There's the, only one Trinket Tuesday. I understand that, but that's got me excited. Well, good. I'm glad that finally you've got some will to have live. excitement in your life. To live. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Can I spin you a quick yarn? Can I ask for something before that yarn? Yeah. Could you give me my stew songs? We are two idiots and we said that you were going to sing me songs where you replaced the word you with stew and then we literally go, save it for the end of the pod and then... We just didn't do shock it. Shock horror, neither of us did it. Can I, can I tell you something, nothing? That's like, a song. I've just like done like bits of song. I haven't like... You know what I mean? Yeah, but we can sing them together. Okay. Well, it's only little bits. Yeah, but it. then we can sing them together. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know? All right. Well, let's do them. Okay. These are some songs that... Why did we do this again? The bedwetter called up. She left a hotline and she said her dad, re- his name is Stu. Okay. And replaces the songs with the word you, it's Stu. That makes it way better. We so thought, I'm Stu. Well, hopefully this gives Stu some ammunition if he hasn't done these ones before. Okay. All right. You ready? Mm-hmm. Baby, love really hurts without Stu. <laughs> love really hurts without <laughs> Stu. And it's breaking my heart, so what should I do, baby, baby? (laughs) Ready? Yeah. Stew are so beautiful to me, can't you see? That's all I had for that one. Um, Stew can do it, put your back into it. (laughs) Stew can do it, put your your ass into it. (laughs) Stew can do it, put your back into it. You can do it, put your yeah. ass into it, put, put your, your back, back into, into it, it, put, put your, your ass, ass into it. it. Click, click, boom, hit me banging down these back streets. <laughs> oh, um, that's good. Um, I need some stew proof, something stronger than I'm used to. Ooh, is that's that a, a country Morgan song? Wallen. Yeah, that is. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. <laughs> this is also a country song that you won't know. Oh. I got my new boots covered in red dirt. My don't mess with Texas t-shirt. And a Lone Star postcard postmarked to Missing Stew. <laughs> it's got the biggest guy you'd ever seen. The coldest beer you'd ever drink. And I feel like now I'm standing on the stew. No. Oh, I've cooked it. Stand it on stew. Stew. Stew stun, we got a problem. <laughs> it's called Houston, we got a problem. <laughs> stew stun, we got a problem. So those are my stew songs. Thank you. <coughs> um, You've got to get, get that rid of a cough. cough. So sorted. that's for the bedwetter that called in and for her father, Stu. Hopefully, so much. there's some new ones in there for her. That was great. Well done. Very creative. Well, now you may proceed with your yarn that I rudely interrupted. I little snot boy. I um. Don't you? Don't you? You're a little snot boy. I scared some children the other day. Okay. Should you be telling this? Yep. I scared some kids on purpose. Oh. Should I did you this really like, be telling. This? Yep. I did it intentionally. Uh huh. I'm driving in the road. I go. It's fucking. It's about five o'clock. Mm. Beautiful day it was. I go, I might duck down, have a quick dip. 
yeah. been getting in the going down to the beach by myself. You know, it's just a nice little thing, have a dip. Yeah. Driving down the road and there's these three kids in school uniforms, two birds, one bloke. Yep. They just walk straight across the road. Don't even look. They're just like on their phones, don't look. And I'm like turning off the main road into the street and I'm like, if I was distracted, I would have just towed up three kids. So they don't, they don't even look in. No, no fucking clue that I'm there. And I'm like, perfect. So I just go, beep. I just I beep them, right? I, when I say like, I instantaneously felt bad. <laughs> they, the two girls scream at the top of their lungs. They all spin around. They got the the bloke kid goes ah, ah, like that. Right? Were you that close to them? That so I like was right shop? up. I was, and I was like, you fucking idiots! You got to learn to look at, at the road. Beep. Scare the fucking soul out of these kids. Like they. I actually kind of rate that. But it's like, like this is a lesson yeah. you learn now. Look, get off your phones when you're walking across also, roads. Is that the road coming down? Because those going buses, down the, <coughs> the buses fly down the edge. Yeah, yeah, and they just didn't look, so I scared the life. And then it made it started making me laugh because of how scared they were. And the the boy was fuming. He was like, "What the fuck? What the fuck?" And then one of the girls goes, "Hold on," yeah. and then point at me and recognize, recognizes me. And then the other girl is going, "Oh my god!" And I'm just looking at it. I just start. I'm pissing myself because I'm like, "You oh, got to scare these yeah. little fuckers." And then they go, "Is that?" Yeah, they go, I think that's, I think, and then he's, and but the kids going, who, 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 still fuming, um, scared of life, and I just like, I felt, I drove away, feeling bad, about it, but then also not feeling too bad about it because, I could have just hit them. Well, yeah. Well, they could have been hit. I'd say that if I was distracted, if I was no, distracted, I'd say you'd probably feel a lot worse if you hit them. Correct. I think that is whilst. I don't mind a little scare. Have I you think that's hundred percent. It didn't hurt them nor harm them. Have you but seen? But let them know, hey, maybe have a fucking look when you're walking across the well, road. Well, have you seen that video of the bloke, the trader who gets out of his car and like yanks this other guy who's walked across with his phone? He's like, mate, no. fucking look. Really? Yeah, fully just like gets out of his car. What, and and the, something misses him. Yeah, I think the guy yeah. just walks across, and then the guy has to stop because he's oh. on his phone. He doesn't look up. So I think the bloke gets out and is like, oh, wait. Then again, it is natural selection, isn't it? You know what I mean? What? It's natural selection. Yeah, but you're not just going to hit someone because they're on their phone. No, but if they get hit, bit of natural selection. Well. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. No, it is, Louisa. I know, I'm just more thinking, I'm like, I wouldn't want to go out that way. I, you know, it wouldn't be the worst. Yeah, it would. Be a, you'd be pretty instantaneous. It's not depend, depending on the speed. Do you know my mate Bazza? Let's test it out. My mate Bazza got hit <laughs> by a cab and it actually ended up saving his life. Put so it, Put his back back into place or something? <laughs> it's actually, no, it's completely fucked. He fucked it. He broke his back, broke his shoulder, fucking 20 stitches in his head. Like it, He got hit at 60 k's an hour, a taxi, when he was he in was the cross. He was You couldn't kill Bazza with a gun. Like... He fucking survived it. He was fucked. I had to shower him and stuff. We were living together, so we'd shower together. Yeah, but like it was free kisses, so it's like whatever. So you had to do everything in the shares. Well, I used to wash him. He couldn't move his arm or whatever, so I had to. I did. I, I said, mate, I think the balls and cock you can probably do yourself. Did you have like a loofah? Yeah, a loafer? Yeah, a loofah. Had a loafer. Loofah. I had a, a loofah. Lucius. Imagine if you married someone with the last name Fuh. Be loofah. Hi, I'm Lufa. What Use me to wash, big boy. Uh, sorry, distracted. But a funny little yarn from that is this is actually fucking pisser because I would have to shower him because I'd get him out of bed, put him in the shower, wash him. He was fucked, mate. Mm. Completely fucked. St- fucking broke his shoulder blade in half and shit. Ew. Fucked him up. Ow. And um, and um, anyway, we would just piss ourselves in the shower. We're like, this is fucking hilarious. and Because we both find showers pretty boring because they're pretty boring by yourself. When he was actually not too bad, he was not too bad. <laughs> what? Sh- we find showers pretty boring by ourselves. Like, can you not a sh- entertain yourself for five minutes in the sheds? I, I, my showers last l- half of a song. I'll put music on in the shower. I'm done halfway through the you song. You don't like a long sheds? No, no, no. Why not? Grew up in a drought. 
That'll it's do ingrained it. in me to That'll not have. Do it. But my little brother, he'll be in the shower for twenty minutes. But then, why do you have a short shaz but a long bath? My baths also aren't that long. Are you in there for ten minutes? Less. I reckon seven oh, minutes. So now you complain. Now you're talking about the droughts. You are the reason for the Vaucluse droughts. The what? From using all that bloody bath water. They're not that much water. I don't reckon the bath. What are you? Are you just having your penis floating around in like ten centimeters of wart? No, I think we've. I think we've um, discussed this off air. Think that one stop talking about my penis in the bath. You're doing it a lot in business meetings, and you're doing it a lot when my parents call in the car, and I, it's just something we need to fix. Oh, something that I need to fix. I'd say there's a few things that you probably need to fix. A few? In terms of every second word is an innuendo. Correct. Yeah. <coughs> Fuck, where was I? Also, I'm not sure if you heard, I corrected myself when I said wart. And I said water. Oh, One di- probably didn't need to. Yeah, because be cock and shortened. wart's being put in. And, and didn't, probably didn't need to be shortened. Water didn't need to be shortened. I could just, didn't. yeah. Um, so you were talking about showers being funner with the boys. Funner with the boys. So, <laughs> Baz, once he was like, he was, because I lived downstairs, he lived upstairs in the house. And I remember when he was like, he, he could shower. Like, I'm like, you could do it. Probably do this now, buddy. Like, it's all yours. He'd hear my shower start downstairs. He'd, I'd hear, do, 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 door open. And Baz would just be standing there tell, he's like, what the fuck, bro? And I'm like, I'm not He's like, it's fucking boring. I'm like, Are you nude? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm in the shower. You're, but you're both nude when you have your shared shazzers. Well, yeah. Hmm. Mate, I'm pretty. No, I know. Pretty it's comfortable. just. I, I, Jim and my old housemate used to see me in the tradies across the road as well. Drop hot laps of my house nude. Even right now. Yeah. God, I live on my own. Nice. So I weird. eat breakfast nude sometimes. No way. We're having brekkie again tomorrow. Is that, do we locked in? You come over for wheat bakes? Yeah, wheat bakes. Yeah, perfect. What's that a euphemism for? <laughs> <laughs> Nutritious meal of you the morning. You coming over for some soggy wheats? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's healthy God. stuff. But a serious note: your wheat bakes do need to be soggy. We've discussed this. Otherwise, it's terrible. <clears throat> you have water in them, you psycho. So sorry. So look, look. But we grew up having open showers and shit, playing footy, footy locker. It doesn't really fucking matter. Yeah. I Plus, just- he's a fucking good kisser. Um. <laughs> anyway, Bazza got hit by this cab. It fucked him up. He had to go for a checkup on his shoulder. And they're like, um, he gets to the hospital, so they do all these scans on his shoulder. So cop this, <laughs> gets the scans back. Yeah, Baz, shoulder's healing up not too bad. You do have a golf ball-sized tumour in your lung, though. Buddy had a tumour the size of a golf ball in his lung that he wouldn't have caught if he didn't get hit by the cab. He wouldn't have known. He used to smoke durries at the time. Hasn't smoked since. Fucking... He was also underground at the mines for like 10 years. Yeah, yeah. I would have fucked him up. Worked underground for a fucking long time. Have I met Bezza? I believe so. Oh, have you met Baz? Was he on you that? You definitely know. If yeah, you know if you'd met Baz. Bucks party that came over to me when I was having a picnic, and I thought that the don't know if you would have been yeah. girlfriends. Don't know. Yeah, they were the strippers. I don't know. Okay. Maybe I, you, you'd remember Baz okay. if you met him. He's a shout out to you, Baz. One of my best mates. Sending of all you time. lots of love. He's the guy. So then, after all that, half of his um left lung cut out. Can you survive with just one lung? Yeah. Doesn't smoke anymore. Doesn't smoke. That's a sign for everyone. Also doesn't do marathons for obvious reasons. Yep. <laughs> but, but without that, without getting towed up by that cab. Well, look, there's a bloody positive in every story. Well, you tell, know, tell the lesson you've learned. Well, the lesson that we always have said, and even probably before the story, was that if the car yep, yep. on the taxi with half a half marath- a, half a marathon. Oh, oh, shower, yep. lung get, of get the... Out of beautiful. Shasha. Sure, sure. you, you know what? You are elegant. You're eloquent. Oh, no, no. And, and just the way that you operate. Oh, Sometimes <laughs> I'm... In awe. I'm in awe. No, but Jack, <laughs> it's just... It's just beautiful. There is nothing that I'm finding funnier at the moment than the mother explaining okay. how much she hates something and how ridiculous... No, darling, and it it's just... just you I mean, should be. You should tell the boys that you find that hurtful. You know, and the and the. Uh, it, 
You know, and it's Tell bloody them. the kids are all on their bloody phones and they're on their iPads. You know, we we had our boys climbing trees. trees. And now that you see the kids on their iPad, it's just it's just And it's just disgraceful. <laughs> what was the one we were doing? Judge and I, when we drive to the podcast, like we don't speak about anything. Oh, we had a serious chat for the last probably minute and a half of this the, one today. The, yeah, but the thirty minutes of driving here, what was one we were doing, pretending to be the girls? We're going, no, babe. It was just like I was fucking shook it, oh, and it was like, like I cannot even like explain it. Oh yeah, it. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I fucking just shit. Um. Uh. So what are you? What have you been up to? What <laughs> red light runner? Oh, what game have we got? Oh, movie, you... movie, what game? Oh, oh no, I got Lulu goes surfing. You got Lulu goes surfing. It's time for Lulu goes surfing on Google Chrome. On Google Chrome. I have been sent this article. I'm not even fucking with you. Probably seventy times. Okay. China debuts first corgi police dog. Oh, fuck it. It's a little Toby and he's called Fuzai. Just look. Look at Toby. I oh, know, he'd be a ripper on the force. <laughs> How long has he been on there? Well, he's only six months old and he's the first corgi police dog ever. Corgi patrol. So Who what? needs paw patrol? So what is, what's his purpose? He's going to be like a normal woofer police dog. Smelling drugs. Everything. Really? Barking. So <laughs> one of his jobs is to bark. Yep. At angry, dangerous thieves. So it's more of a fun thing. I don't think that's fun. I think Toby's finally getting to live out his dream of being a policeman. Yeah. So you think it'd just be sniffering, right? Because he wouldn't be able to do much else. Yeah. No, 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 no. You don't understand. Toby was very. Toby could be vicious. Louisa. No, you. No, I'm. They're like a wombat, but with half Toby fucking could the shortest bark. legs. Toby could fucking bark. Lots he was bark. scary. Yeah. Have you ever heard the term "all bark, no bite"? But if you, if you. Broke into Jill's house that time you did, remember? Yeah. And you heard Toby going, row, 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 row. just that time. It would scare you. Do you know, if I put it this way, it would take me th- under four seconds to eliminate your dog. Head on the fucking foot, head hey. on the foot on the head, pull the back legs. Toby is in heaven. That's very cruel. Well, I'm just telling you. Could you not just go, that's a great story, Lou, and how exciting for you. (coughs) Far out, Lou. That is a great story. How exciting for you. Thank you. Wow. (laughs) Next, Lulu goes surfing. (coughs) (laughs) I don't know if I've told this one. So are we just cutting my whole response? Yes, Lily. (laughs) Cut the rest and just leave that in. Thanks. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> now, have I done this one or have I not? I've got deja vu. You know now that they're putting QR codes on the headstones, uh, like on, on... Yeah, you've done it, kid. Oh. Mama hasn't prayer. Mama well, hasn't prayer. Is that where you, you, you take, like, obviously yeah, you scan the big dog it LDD it shows, has prepped. shows just, your life. Yeah. yeah. I have prepped. I just, it clearly came up again on the news. Two, two episodes ago. Was it, was it that? No. Yeah, yeah well, I promise you. I remember talking about it. Well, let's talk about it some more. What photo would you have? <sighs> I, think we, I think we did this. Mine would be um, Mandingo, just to throw everyone off. Yep. That, now there's the deja vu. Just to be like, that's what a, where it's oh, that's from. him. What a rooster. That's exactly the one. Uh, okay, short <laughs> Lulu goes, sir. well, there is t- one other one, but I don't like it that much. So I'm just going to do this one. Conjoined twins. Seen it. I have a million yeah. questions. So do I. So, so read it out for people who don't know. Conjoined twin Abby Hensel is now married. So they're it's it's one body, two heads, and they've married Army veteran Josh Bowling. So it, does he have two wives? So because it's one body. I know that's the question you're asking. The question I'm asking. Oh, Jack, for God's sake! We literally went through this on Hello Sport. Well, did before, we talking about yeah double gobtrons? What are we talking? Well, wouldn't you just That's take one turns? set of genitals, two heads, right? So it's like you you are having sex with both of them. I think what was brought up on Hello Sport was what would the other head be doing during head? Goggles on? No, ear, no. Earmuffs? Yeah, good. Oh, good question. No, wouldn't it almost as if be good like question. it's a threesome? Because you got the three, yeah. wouldn't you, you know? I do know, Lou. This is the, it's the first thing that I thought about. Obviously, being the man that I am, 
sick and, fuck. And, and when they have one job, like not that kind of job, like it's say they're a nurse, you know, like who, who are you talking to? Which and one? And the other one's an influencer. <laughs> so it's like, uh, he's just at work with my sister. Because how many, there wouldn't be she many conjoined Currently twins. operating on this guy. At the operating table, LOL. Shaka, yeah. Shaka. Would there be that many conjoined twins in the world? Can't the, be many. It wouldn't be many, doll. It wouldn't be many. You'd have to have one, there'd have to be one job. So if, it, you know, like if it was a lawyer, are they one lawyer? Or have you got two on the job? But she's a entirely different. She has, you, yeah, oh, it's fuck, man. It actually, I don't know. Do mate. they have two, well, there's obviously two brains. Yes. You're not like the exact yes. same person. Yes, it's two, bro. It's a, she's a different human, but, but she's a different entity. In, but same body. Same body. So two brains, one bod. So conjoined twins, they <laughs> occur once in every fifty to 60,000 births. Oh, that's what? actually not as rare as I thought it would be. You sometimes see cattle and shit with like another fucking growth out of it, a leg out of its head. or I've like, never seen a conjoined twin, have you? It also says that approximately 70% of conjoined twins are female. Really? Oh. Interesting. You guys are going to have a look for something. Oh, sorry? Nothing. But I, look, I would argue, now this is pure conjecture, I'd argue that he's kind of marrying both of them. Well, he's marrying two people because it's, like you said, it's two brains, two, like, yes, it's one body, but it's two, but, but, they, they are, they'd be individuals. Look, we, we want to ask the hard quitting questions here. It's two brains, one body, as I read on the article, one set of genitals. So presumably she receives pleasure, pleasure whilst they are copulating. That's what I was thinking, because would it be a case where they both can feel it at the same time? I don't or have, maybe, have to be. maybe it switches over? It'd have to be both. It'd have to be. So then the sensory deprivation Correct. wouldn't work for... Well, yeah, the, no, it would have to be both because one bod. One bod, dude. Are you fucking serious? So Burmo's just said that one contr controls the right arm, right leg, the other control... So they've got to be in unison. How would just they by walk walking. at the same time? Probably got a down pack. Yes. Would take some time, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, fuck me, Dad. Wow. What, a, what a world, man. Yeah, I saw that and I had a lot of questions too. So many. Still. But, so, so but there was also a, uh, <clears throat> yeah. See, there was a misleading news article as well that was like all the questions you want to know about the thing oh, answered. scroll for eight days. But, but it didn't answer any of the questions oh. I wanted to know. Oh, yeah, right. It was just like... I'm sure that none of the articles would answer any you wanted to know, Judge. <laughs> Not one single answer. Well, it just didn't. It didn't, yeah. do it. it didn't do it for me. Now, should we play some categories? Give me your last Lula Goes Surfing because I believe in you. I don't think it was that great. What was it? Australian billionaire revives dream to set sail on Titanic 2. Oh, yeah. What's his fucking name? Clive Palmer. Clive Palmer. He wants to build the Titanic 2. Apparently, he wants you to dress the way, like, period. In You'd have to have a lot of money to want to be able to do something like that. So, what was what was the, what was the uh, title of the, of the, the headline? Australian billionaire. That's right. <laughs> yeah, correct. So, he's got a lot of money. But, even, so but that's just, like, play money for him. You know, like, he's he just... Him. Oh, hey... You know what I might do tomorrow? Create the Titanic 2. He also said he was doing this about a decade or so ago, I believe. That's the that's the crux of it. But I beg your pardon? Yeah, you're right with it. Crux of it? Yep, yep. Yeah. That's the whole crux of it. Expand. He wanted to build it 10 years ago. But you know how, like, uh, imagine just having that much money. You know, some days I go, fuck it, tomorrow I'm getting a massage. It's $100. You know, as he's going, fuck it, tomorrow I'm going to build the Titanic too. <laughs> yeah. So your point is everything's relative. Everything is <laughs> subjective, Jack. I believe that Titanic no, 2 may be subjective and massage may be subjective. I know what you mean, but it is, you, you are, I know what you mean, though. The more money you earn, the more money you spend. <laughs> From Aristotle. Fuck, oh, she's a fucking genius. She's a wordsmith. What else? Give me, give me some other. Give me some others. Just like let, let me know. Just other old expressions. Well, they always say, "Dance like no one's watching," and they always say, "Live, laugh, love." 
You definitely, you definitely take that first one very seriously. Definitely say no one's Yeah. Well. Yeah, 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 yeah. If any, if what we've seen is anything to go by, you definitely dance like no one's fucking watching. Well, in the words of Plato. So I've said Plato in the car coming lovely. over. Say lovey. Carpe diem. Speaking of dancing, when are we getting this dance? Oh, can you explain going? to the bedwetters, please? So what keeps happening is we've got individual dancers and then the studios will be booked. So uh, do we just get the dancer here? Let's get him here. And you do it against that white wall. Mate, if I can move some chairs. Perfect. Because Lou texted me last night. She's like, the fucking this cunt's pulled out again. Someone's pulled out Not again. Not the studio. So they're like individual and then they work, you know, so they're trying to work the timings of the studs. Right, let's get him into this studio. I agree. We'll move some chairs around. And just get it done. Get you working. Because I'm sick of having to fucking think about it every it's week. It's giving you a bit of anxiety, isn't it? You're about to show anxiety. I was anxiety going to anxiety. And, and, you, and, and you realise and that I would be fucking ridiculous. You would come over here and, and suffocate me. Well, I don't know if I'd take it that far, I'd probably just berate you a little. Let's do the hotline, kid. Excuse me, senorita. Senorita. It is currently Easter Sunday and I've got a new one for you. Um, I was listening to your podcast on my way to work this morning and I got robbed. So there's a new one. You've caused some car accidents okay. and now you've caused some robberies. I'm a bit shaken up and I'm at work, but bad weather for life. I feel so bad. Bye. Oh my good can, God. Can we, can we please call her? And so we can get the gist of... She's been robbed. Do you think, like, her Jesus car... Jesus Do you think, like, she parked her car and then it was robbed? I don't know. It stinks like she was in the vehicle. That's scary. It stinks like she was listening to us and then she, she was robbed. <laughs> I'm sorry to lie, but... You know what's going to happen? This is now going to become a trend. Don't! The car, the car crashes were... Don't fucking start... Look, we've caused enough crashes... In our time, we don't need to still, uh, cause brazen daylight robberies. No. All right? All right, Linda. All right. No fucking robbing of the bedwetters, right, when they're fucking listening. Did you want to call her or do you want to... Let's call her, baby. All right, let me, let me just turn on privacy. Smart I didn't thing. Do Get your time. privacy on. Hello? Oh. Fucking hell, Our mate. little senorita. Did you get robbed, buddy? <laughs> did you get yeah. robbed? Yeah, I did. But <laughs> what happened, buddy? Can, can you? Play, can you it's play? good. That's impossible. It's really cool to hear from you. Hey, well, fuck. Well, we thought we needed to call you back after you got robbed listening to the pod, um, mate. I was, I was um walking to the bus stop on Sunday morning, right? And I was, it was like seven a.m. And like a man, like he just started like calling out to me, and he's like, "Hey, I need your help to fix something." I'm like, oh, sorry, I can't. I need to go to work. I need to keep going. Like, at this point, I'm like, okay, just keep going. Just keep going. You're okay. Um, and then, like, I had my AirPods in. I was listening to you guys. I was like, okay, keep your head in. <laughs> keep, keep your head down. Um, and then uh, he kept, like, calling out to me and, like, basically chasing me across the road. Jesus. So he, like, <laughs> he caught up to me and basically cornered me and pushed me against the wall. Oh. And, yeah, he took my phone from me and like ran away. But there was like a few people on the highway that like saw it happening and got out and like chased him. Oh, <laughs> oh did my they? god! Thank God for those people. Yeah. Are you alright, dude? You must have been fucking terrified. I mean, fuck that. I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm physically okay. I'm a bit mentally yeah. fucked, but I'm okay. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. You poor bugger. And you had to be listening That's to okay. us in your bloody earphones during it. <laughs> yeah, that actually, honestly, that amplifies the terror. I'm oh sorry. Oh, my God, we're so actually, sorry that happened to you. That's okay. I was listening to the 100th episode. I'm a little bit behind, but I was like... That's all right. <laughs> Fuck. I'm okay. I feel like... <laughs> Feel like you've got to get. We've got to send a sign. We'll send you. Yeah, let's hat. send you some. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, we'll send you some merch, dude. We're sending you lots of hugs and kisses. That's fucking terrifying. We hope you're alright. Thank hey, you did so they, much, sir. Did they catch him? Yeah, they got him. Um, Fuck yeah! They, Thank yeah, God. They called the police straight away. So. Fuck that Good. prick! I hope he. Uh, yeah, I, I hope it. he gets towed up in the clink. That is. <laughs> Oh well, we're sending uh, you lots of love. Yes, we are, dude. We Thank just had to call. Much. We had to call you because that's we. Yeah, far out, yeah. Russell Sprout. It's the first. <laughs> just 
Take solace in the fact that you're the first bedwetter to be robbed while listening to you. I guess it's some achievement yeah. in some way. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dad. We love you, mate. We love We're you. In touch. Love you. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Yeah. Oh. Poor, th- poor thing. Okay. I mean, <clears throat> we hope, look, you know, we truly hope that no other bedwetters no. get robbed while listening to us. Go back to having a very small minor car crash. Yeah, because we're... You hit someone's bumper. We're truly... Look, at the end of the day, it's a double robbing because we're robbing you of uh, your in, your intelligence by listening to this podcast. We are That's robbing true. you. We're robbing you of that. You also don't need your physical uh, items on your person robbed at the same time. No, that's actually it's very, a very, it's very a dobbing. That's a double robbing. Very scary. Love you, bud. M- merch coming. Some um, real groundbreaking um, Instagram content there, Lou. About twenty six stories of just some uh, wacky glasses with your new boy. <laughs> That's really good quality stuff there, mate. Real funny. And could you just let me know where to get the pork and fennel snags from Um, so I can go? But I might mix uh, the fennel out, get some fentanyl in there so I can overdose and die and never hear that story again. All right. All right. Oh, that's fucking... <laughs> that's fucking one of the best ones we've ever had. Pork and fentanyl sausage. Thank you, sir. Oh. <laughs> that is such a Lou wrecking dude. It is. <laughs> Can it I... Is. Uh, before you... I need to compose myself. Before you retort to that gentleman. No, there's nothing for me to say. <sighs> Some of the funniest shit to me is just deadpan fucking delivery. Yeah, so that was... Uh, yeah, no, really good stuff, really funny. Uh, so if we get some... <laughs> with, the, with the wacky glasses. Yeah, with the wacky glasses. No, really top content. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at So off that. Uh, next one. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's actually made me cry. Whew. Everything's fine. Um, red light, green light. Going out in Canberra last week and thinking you've met Darchi. So, like, you're wholeheartedly telling this man, aren't you Darchi? And he's denying it full through and through. And you're like, no, 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 you're him. He's still denying it. And then you come to after a few seconds and think, oh, fuck, you're not Darchi. But you still get away with him anyway. And you realise maybe you should go home because that man is nothing like Darchi. He's just a man with a beard. Was that green light? I would love to see that photo. Look, I just look. It, I probably just look like any other skinny white fellow with a beard. Probably. It's easy to, bro. I get fucking, uh, fucking. I get people sending me photos of just white cunts with beards all the time. They're like, didn't know you were here, Buster. My mate Buster did it the other day. It, to be fair, the one did kind of look like him, but well, anyone with a beard covering no chin is you. If you're a chinless rat rooster, what the fuck is in my eye? and um, probably tears from that fucking brutal wrecking yeah, you just received, my guy. Do you want you want to hit him back with anything? Just give us your best one. Give, nah. give him your best shot. I'm not sis. in the mood today. Oh, Lulu, next one. Oh, he's hurt her. But just going off that real quick with that new segment idea. Yes. Oh, uh, yes. Sorry. So we were thinking, oh, yeah. we were thinking if if people have situations like that, if you have spotted us or if you do think you've spotted us, email us with a photo or spin the yarn on the hotline and just say spotted. And, and then we can either us or fakes. Yeah, us or fakes. Me, we'll just be dropping hot laps of Rose Bay. Correct. And send it to wmw at hellosport.com.au. A picture if you do get, happen to get one. We Correct. can put that on the Instagram as well. The yes, story. we can, you naughty thing. There's something in my <laughs> eye. Tears from the burn. Not that. You need that first aid kit after that fucking. You need my trinket <sighs> Tuesday, don't you? Seriously. It was very, very, very okay, well Okay, one delivered. more. Hey, fuck you, it's Bella here. I'm just calling up to defend Lou on her category about this pie bullshit with the fucking souvenir shops and whatnot. Yeah. I, I'm with her. There's the always what? fucking pies in the New Zealand 
souvenir shop. There you go. Like a Jimmy's pie. It's Shut like the it. fuck up. So, right. Lou, I'm pretty proud of these categories in that round. Pretty, pretty happy. So, yes. There you go. That means I probably won that round. It was probably a tie. Well. And that was probably the decider. Well, don't know if it was, buddy. Well, but I think it was. Guess what? Redemption round next week. Still don't get it. Redemption round this week. Yes. Just on the different day. It went Friday. Yeah. that's right. that's when the second <laughs> podcast will come out. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's when it'll be out. And we're having, uh, we're having fry up Fridays, aren't we? Oh, wouldn't mind a sausage. Oh, that one that he suggested I should have. <laughs> I actually might have that after the show. Please. Oh, oh, you're a sweet thing and you're a good angel, aren't you, Willie? Now, senoritas, that was some fucking red hot hotline. Really enjoyed it. You all right there, mama? No, there's something in that. She got something in her eye. We'll get some milk into that ASAP. Now, we loved a lot of you. Love um, you guys. Don't forget Patreon's coming soon. Super so can send your readers. There'll be two extra episodes a week. Well, extended episodes. Extended apps, ones. Lou. Extended apps. Well, it's technically two extras. 10% off it merch. Is. It's an extended episode. 10% yeah, off totally merch. Too. Early access to live shows. Yeah. So what else do we have? So you just be a super sucker senorita, and there'll be one lucky senorita each week that gets a video from Videos us. Videos each week. Hell, we fuck it. It's just gonna we're gonna start there and just build it. It's gonna be hot, hot, <laughs> hot stuff. And it'll cost you two fists of fuck all because we're not crabs. Now let me get this thing out of my eye. Please. All right, we love, love you, you bedwetters. Love you so much. Hooroo. Mwah.